The book of Revelation is a remarkable text that contains numerous prophecies detailing the events that will transpire before and after the return of Jesus to earth. Among these prophecies, there is one in particular that stands out as an unprecedented and awe-inspiring occurrence. It is so extraordinary and simultaneously terrifying that even the most imaginative scriptwriters and science fiction authors would struggle to conceive something of its magnitude. According to the Bible, when this prophecy comes to pass during the end times, many people will repent for having rejected God and His love. They will cry out for mercy and forgiveness, but unfortunately, it will no longer be available to them. Before delving into this future event that will astonish the world, it is important to explore five other intriguing events from the Bible that have already happened or are poised to occur in the near future. However, before we embark on this journey, I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel. Simply click on the subscribe button below the video and activate the notification bell so that you can receive upcoming videos directly on your phone. Now, let's begin. The first event to consider is the visit of the Angel of Death, also known as the Destroying Angel. This celestial being descended upon the earth around 1,300 before Christ, after Pharaoh refused Moses' request to release the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. As a consequence of Pharaoh's disobedience, God unleashed ten plagues upon the nation, thereby humbling both its people and their pagan gods. These plagues included the transformation of the Nile River into blood, an inundation of frogs, infestations of insects, the death of animals, the affliction of the Egyptians with skin diseases, a period of complete darkness lasting three days, and finally, the visitation of the angel of death. In response to Pharaoh's repeated refusals to free the Hebrews, God instructed Moses to have the Israelites mark their doorposts with the blood of a lamb. This act would ensure that the angel of death would pass over these houses and only target the Egyptians. At midnight, the angel of death struck, claiming the lives of all the firstborns in Egypt, including Pharaoh's son and the firstborns of livestock. The Egyptians awoke to the sight of their dead children and mourned deeply. The second event of significance is the vision of the depths of the earth. This extraordinary phenomenon, orchestrated by God, also occurred in the Old Testament and featured Moses as its central figure. After the Israelites had been liberated from slavery and were journeying through the desert, a man named Korah led a rebellion against Moses and his brother Aaron. Korah coveted the role of high priest for himself and demanded that everyone be allowed to serve in that capacity, even though God had not ordained it. Envious and filled with selfish ambition, Korah incited a large number of Hebrews against Moses and Aaron. God's anger was kindled by this act of rebellion, and he informed Moses that he would pour out his judgment upon Korah. In the absence of repentance, God instructed Moses to separate the people from Korah and his followers. As the Israelites distanced themselves, the ground suddenly opened up before Korah, his family, and his allies, swallowing them along with all their possessions. They descended alive into the depths of the earth, becoming entombed in the grave. Once the judgment was executed, God closed the crater, obliterating all traces of Korah and his companions from the midst of the Israelite community. The third event of interest is the emergence of the two witnesses. This prophetic occurrence, detailed in the book of Revelation, will unfold during the years of the Great Tribulation. The two witnesses will be individuals who have never experienced death, suggesting that they could be figures from the Old Testament who were taken to heaven while still alive, such as Enoch or Elijah. Alternatively, some believe they could be Elijah and Moses, as both appeared with Jesus during the Transfiguration. Significantly, these two servants of God will be endowed with supernatural powers to perform incredible feats. Clothed in sackcloth, a coarse fabric typically made of goat hair, they will prophesy throughout the world for 12 and 60 days, which equates to three and a half years. Their message, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ, will be delivered to a spiritually blinded and lost world. While some will listen and heed their words, many will reject their message becoming infuriated and hostile towards them. The Bible explicitly states that anyone who tries to harm the witnesses will be consumed by fire emanating from their mouths. This extraordinary display of divine power will occur because the Antichrist, the ruler of the world at that time, will seek to suppress the worship of the true God of the Bible. Consequently, 
he will launch relentless attacks against these two witnesses. Furthermore, these two men of God will possess the ability to shut the sky, causing it to cease raining for the entire duration of their prophesying, mirroring the drought that the prophet Elijah brought upon Israel during his time. They will also have the ability to turn water into blood and unleash various plagues upon the earth, reminiscent of the plagues that afflicted Egypt in the time of Moses. These supernatural manifestations will serve as a testimony to the power and authority of God and will be a striking sign to the world that the end of the age is approaching. The fourth event to consider is the Battle of Armageddon. This climactic conflict is described in the book of Revelation as the final battle between the forces of good and evil. It will take place near the end of the Great Tribulation and will culminate in the return of Jesus Christ to establish his kingdom on earth. The armies of the world, under the influence of the Antichrist, will gather in the region of Megiddo in Israel, hence the name Armageddon. The battle will be fierce and devastating, with supernatural elements at play. Jesus, accompanied by the armies of heaven, will descend from the sky and defeat the forces of darkness, bringing an end to human rebellion against God. Finally, we come to the extraordinary event you mentioned the prophecy of people crying out for mercy and forgiveness during the end times. In the book of Revelation, after the sixth seal is opened, there is a description of a great earthquake and cosmic disturbances that shake the entire world. As a result, people from all walks of life, from kings to slaves, will seek shelter in caves and mountains, crying out to the mountains and rocks to fall on them and hide them from the wrath of God. They will realize the magnitude of their sins and the impending judgment that awaits them. This event signifies a critical moment of awareness and desperation when people finally grasp the seriousness of their rejection of God and the consequences of their actions. However, it is important to note that the prophecy also indicates that at this point, it will be too late for them to find forgiveness and salvation. The time for repentance will have passed, and the world will be entering the final stages of God's judgment. The Bible presents a series of extraordinary events, both past and future, that showcase the power, justice, and mercy of God. From the plagues of Egypt to the emergence of the two witnesses, the battle of Armageddon, and the cries of those who realize the gravity of their rejection of God. These events highlight the profound spiritual realities at play during the end times. These serve as reminders of the importance of faith, repentance, and seeking a relationship with God before it's too late. In the book of Revelation, specifically in Revelation 16, the Apostle John recounts a profound prophecy about the rulers of the entire world gathering for a climactic battle known as the Great Day of Almighty God. This epic confrontation is said to take place in a location called Armageddon. Interestingly, the term Armageddon finds its roots in the Book of Judges in the Old Testament. During that time, the people of God faced significant challenges and were greatly outnumbered by their enemies. However, on the very same mountain where the Battle of Armageddon is prophesied to occur, they emerged victorious. In the book of Revelation, John vividly describes a vision he had where the sky opens and he witnesses Jesus riding on a white horse, accompanied by a vast heavenly army. Inscribed on Jesus' eye is the title, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In this awe-inspiring scene, an angel calls upon the birds of the sky to gather for a great feast where they will consume the flesh of those who died opposing the people of Israel. It is important to note that the Battle of Armageddon will not resemble prolonged conflicts that span decades. Instead, it will be a swift and decisive encounter, with the enemies of God being effortlessly crushed. It is during this momentous event that the seventh bowl of God's wrath will be poured out upon the world. Following the battle, Jesus will cast the Antichrist and the false prophets into the lake of fire consigning them to eternal damnation. Additionally, all individuals who serve the Antichrist will be killed and become prey for the birds. Subsequently, Jesus will imprison Satan and establish his thousand-year reign on earth. During this period, he will rule alongside his church and those who died in steadfast faith during the Great Tribulation, refusing to bow to the Antichrist. Contrary to popular belief, Armageddon will not signify the destruction of our planet. According to the Bible, earth will serve as the eternal dwelling place for all who have acknowledged Jesus as their Savior and have faithfully followed the will of God. Another significant event in the biblical narrative is the rapture. 
The concept of the rapture entails a moment when all living Christians will suddenly vanish from the earth and be transported to heaven. This event has been a subject of debate, with various interpretations regarding when it will occur. Some believe it will happen immediately upon the emergence of the Antichrist, while others suggest that Christians will only be taken to heaven alive after a period of 3.5 years under the Antichrist rule. Yet another viewpoint posits that Christians will experience the entirety of the Great Tribulation on Earth before being taken by Jesus. Regardless of the specific timing, one thing remains certain, the rapture will transpire. Jesus himself mentioned it in Matthew 24, explaining to his disciples that at the appointed time, two individuals will be in a field, with one being taken and the other left behind. Similarly, two women will be grinding at a handmill, and one will suddenly disappear. The rapture will occur in an instant, shaking the world and affecting everyone. Those left behind will have to confront the harsh realities of the last days, while those in Christ will be filled with joy, remaining in the presence of the Lord for all eternity. These extraordinary events lead us to a chilling prophecy, the arrival of four demonic angels from the Euphrates River. This prophecy will unfold as the angels begin to sound the seven trumpets of Revelation. With the first trumpet, a hail of fire mixed with blood will rain upon the earth, incinerating a third of the trees and all the green grass. The second trumpet heralds the fall of a great burning mountain-like object into the sea, resulting in the death of a third of marine life and the destruction of a third of ships and vessels. As the third trumpet resounds, a star named Wormwood will plummet from the sky, poisoning a third of the waters and causing many deaths due to the contamination. The fourth trumpet will diminish the light of the sun, moon, and stars by a third, symbolizing a period of darkness. When the fifth trumpet is sounded, an abyss will be opened, from which locusts will emerge to torment those who do not bear God's seal on their foreheads. This event is also referred to as the first woe. The sixth trumpet marks the unfolding of the most terrifying prophecy in history. When it sounds, four demonic angels who were cast out of heaven, along with Satan himself, and were imprisoned near the great Euphrates River, will be released. These malevolent beings will lead an immense army of millions of horsemen, bringing about widespread destruction and death. According to the Apostle John, this army will consist of 200 million soldiers, all donning breastplates in shades of red, dark blue, and yellow. Their horses will possess heads like lions, with fire, smoke, and sulfur emanating from their mouths. Furthermore, their tails will resemble serpents, inflicting deadly blows upon people. Astonishingly, a third of the Earth's population who managed to survive until this point will perish, signifying their final opportunity for repentance before facing eternal condemnation in hell. Tragically, many will persist in worshipping false gods and rejecting the Lord. The events depicted in the Bible, including those mentioned above, are undoubtedly difficult to comprehend fully due to their profound nature and scope. However, it is crucial to recognize that the Bible is regarded as an infallible and truthful source. While these prophecies may evoke fear and trepidation, taking solace in surrendering one's life to Jesus and living in accordance with his teachings offers protection amidst the impending trials. Those who place their faith in Jesus will find themselves in his presence for eternity, free from fear, pain, death, and sorrow. The new Jerusalem awaits, a kingdom where joy and peace reign supreme. Rather than fixating on the exact timing of these events, it is paramount to focus on the significance of being in a relationship with Jesus when they unfold. Therefore, delving into the knowledge contained within the Bible and faithfully adhering to His Word is of utmost importance. This will guard against deception and equip individuals to navigate the future with confidence and clarity. By sharing this message with friends and family, and by subscribing to channels that provide biblical insights, one can contribute to spreading the wisdom and blessings of God. The events described in the Bible, whether historical accounts or prophetic visions, hold immense significance for believers. The Battle of Armageddon, the Rapture, the sounding of the trumpets, and the subsequent tribulations and triumphs all serve as reminders of the grand narrative of God's plan for humanity. It is crucial to approach these prophecies with reverence, recognizing the gravity of the choices we make in relation to our faith. By surrendering to Jesus and aligning our lives with His teachings, we can find solace and security amidst the tumultuous events that lie ahead.
May God's blessings be upon all who seek His truth and walk in His ways.